Greetings. Welcome to the Captive Desk. In this video, we are revisiting Don the Biologist with a salty argument for a young Earth. So salt is being added to the sea. When it rains in the land, the rainwater dissolves salt, and then that salt goes into the rivers and then out to the sea. And there's also some subterranean salt as well, or subterranean aquifers that run into the sea that add salt. So there's salt being added to the sea. And then when the water evaporates and comes back to the land as rain, it leaves the salt behind. So you can see that over time, there will be an increase in salt in the ocean. So the salt in the ocean increases because the rain brings it from the land, evaporates without the salt, leaving the salt in the ocean. Yes. Okay. So how does that affect the concept of deep time? Um, two scientists, uh, Dr. St Steve Austin and Dr. Russell Humphreys, uh, one's a geologist, the other one's a physicist, they did a major study of this using the secular mainstream estimates of how much salt is going to the oceans and how much is being removed. And you can calculate then how long it would take to get all the salt in the ocean, assuming there's none to start with. Okay. And so using the, the least amount of salt going in and the maximum amount going out, they calculated a maximum age of 62 million years. Well, that's like one fiftieth of the supposed minimum age of the oceans. Right. So the oceans are too young. Far too young for the deep time belief. Well, Don, the biologist, the numbers you didn't give are, according to the NOAA, that about 4 billion tons of salt is added to the ocean annually, with about an equal amount deposited on the ocean floor as sediment. There is also some loss of salt from waves and storms, depositing salt on land, and organisms that use dissolved salts, removing them from the water. However, the majority of salts added to the ocean settle to the bottom as deposition balancing out the levels annually to about a 3.5% salinity level. This in comparison to a Yale Professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences study that found a 7.5% salinity 500 million years ago that shows the oceans have become less salty from 500 million years ago up to the present day. Don the oceans are not getting saltier. Don, you have it all backwards, upside down, and completely wrong. You are an idiot, or a liar, or both. I'll let you decide. Don has once again given a truly terrible argument for a young Earth, as he has done before, and probably will again. You can check out my video, Three Reasons Dinosaurs Can't Be Old, to hear more of Don the Biologist's bad arguments for a young Earth. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like, comment, and subscribe with a bell for future videos. I'll see you then.